What's up, players? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dan Whitmer from Zen Dude Fitness. And today, I'm gonna show you how to jump rope fast. All right, Zendude Fitness community, you ask the questions, you give us the comments, we make the videos. So thank you guys once again for commenting and letting us know that you wanna find out how to burn the most amount of calories with a jump rope. So a lot of people have been asking us on the tubes of the U if I cannot do some of the tricks that you guys recommend or that I see in some of these workouts, does that mean I'm not gonna burn as many calories? And the answer, my friend, is absolutely not. Here at Zendude Fitness, we believe in the highest return on investment. So what that means is putting the least amount in to get the most amount back. So we're talking about what are the small changes that we can make in our workouts and intensity levels to provide the highest calorie burn so that we don't gotta be exercising all day, man. It could be chilling. What we're gonna focus on today is helping you guys speed up your jump roping so that you can burn more calories in a shorter amount of time. Let's first go over again how to jump rope regular bounce properly. Your form should always stay the same when doing this, okay? So what I wanna look for here is if you see the footage, Feet are low to the ground, I'm coming one to two inches off the ground. Knees are slightly bent, my elbows are in, hands are jutting directly out from the sides of my hips, and also my arms are bent at around 90 degree angles. Last and most important thing, which I always talk about on these videos, because it's super important, is your wrists. Don't focus so much on jumping over the rope, focus on the fact that your wrist is keeping the rope tight. Since the rope is gonna be spinning around faster, there's gonna be less time to jump up in the air. So that means we're, we're gonna be jumping not even a half inch off the ground. So the first thing you wanna focus on is even lower impact on your feet. So let's practice that tap, tap motion here. As you see in the footage, I'm just going tap, 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 tap without the jump rope just to get used to that motion. And now recognize the knees stay slightly bent, but they don't bend as much as when you're just doing regular bounce. If you watch me here, you'll see that my range of most motion when I'm just doing regular bounce is pretty loose. My wrists are coming around. They're, you know, if you pretend that my wrist is a, a ball bearing, my hand is coming around pretty loose and making a large motion. Now, when you're jumping rope fast, what we wanna do is tighten those wrists up. So guys, the wrists are getting a little bit more tight to be able to keep the rope tight as it spins around. So the first two things to look for are the feet are coming a little bit lower off the ground and those wrists are tighter to allow the rope to spin faster. Additionally, with the wrists, ladies and gentlemen, like I said before, that ball bearing when you're doing regular bounce is pretty loose. The motion that we wanna make when jumping rope fast, if you see when I turn to the side here, it's almost like my wrists are pushing the rope forward and my wrist is kind of flicking it forward each time at a higher, highly intense rate. Next thing we're gonna focus on is the arms. Now typically when we just do regular bounce, the elbows are like I said, in like this. Now in order to create that tension that I talked about with the rope and your wrists, we're gonna extend the elbows out slightly more as you see in the footage here. And so overall, it looks just in general like I'm a lot tighter. If you notice when I do regular bounce, it's a lot looser, my elbows are in, my forearms and wrists are making a larger motion, my knees are bending more and I'm coming slightly higher off the ground. To jump rope fast, you really wanna focus on tightening your wrists, tightening your arms and jumping very low to the ground. So Dan, now that I know how to jump rope fast, man, how do I practice? Man, we talking practice, P -p -p practice, practice. If you guys are already okay doing regular bounce, start to work jumping rope at a higher rate into some of your workouts by pushing yourself. The only way that the body is gonna adapt and change and burn body fat and build more muscle is if it is forced to. So go at your highest intensity when doing these workouts. For those who are new to the community, don't get discouraged if you're not jumping rope at a super high pace right away. I want you guys to focus on just getting really, really good at regular bounce and then progressing day by day as you go forward. The only way to become great at something is to stay consistent. So don't give up on yourself and let's keep skipping rope, baby. That's all for today, folks. If you have questions or comments or you just want to say hi or you want to say, yo, I hate you Zen dudes, you guys suck, just leave them below and Brandon and I will definitely answer them because we in there every day and you know that. Love you Zen Dude Nation. So mother fast, so fast, man. You're going to be whipping people in the face. They're going to be like, damn you fast.